Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I am going to tell you about wireless sensor network. I am talking about wireless sensor network as we know most of the communication is using sensors. The sensor is basically capture the data or capture in any information and that sense data it is to be moved to the network and it will be based on that some activity happen so sensors like uh, we are a human we are sensing hot cold or if there is any temperature change same way we are having sensors which are used for sensing so main job of sensors are to get whatever they meant for that particular application they sense the data or the information then capture these data while we are using uh, touch screen mobile so what touch screen mobile is doing is that whatever we want we are using some pattern or want to go on certain folder so what are doing we are touching it or what the touch is doing what is particularly sensing it so what we can say sensor is a any teeny element device that basically sensing something so what is wireless sensor network the name is also wireless sensor network and the job of wsn is uh, it is used specially on making sensor or using the sensor for monitoring the environment like uh, uh, if if uh, uh, we are uh, using how much is the temperature outside so that uh, sensor will tell us okay right now it is 48 degree 45 degree same same way the touch screen work so basically it's a job for uh, for sensor network that uh, what is meant for and uh, also i am telling you about the introduction components of wsn architecture of sensor node protocol stack of wsn topologies of wsn applications of wsn and the summary so let's start if you can see on the screen that uh, there is this wireless sensor network here you can see these are the nodes which are available then there is a sync node internet and uh, their user is the here is there so if uh, i am user and using something if i am connecting with internet there is uh, always a sync node you are connecting to the wsn and uh, there are sensor nodes so sensor nodes are basically using for sensing so uh, here in this diagram you can see uh, where is basically the wsn is there and uh, there here you can see uh, there is the target giving the data to move one node to another and uh, it moving from the internet now i am talking to the introduction of wireless sensor network a wireless sensor network is a wireless network that is designed using spatially distributed self governing devices that uses sensors for monitoring physical and environmental conditions parameters monitored using wsn are temperature pressure humidity directions of wind and speed illumination intensity of vibration intensity of sound power line voltage chemical concentrations pollutant levels and vital body functions now we moving to the next slide that components of wireless sensor network we required a gateway we required a sensor actuator and third is sensor node gateway that is very very important and must for any wsn because gateway is basically talking the input from the sensor and then sending it to the sensor side server side 
sorry server side so over we required a gateway we required sensor or actuator or sensor node these are the components we required for wsn we uh, actually a sensor and sensor node i am talking already moving to the next slide that characteristics of wsn characters here so when uh, uh, we talking about the wsn there are having power efficiency fault tolerance mobility of nodes heterogeneity of nodes and scalability power efficiency basically is nodes are remotely located don't have any direct power access so power efficiency requirement is at the higher side fault tolerance if we talking about the fault tolerance so in that case node is basically prone to same of the failure if maybe so fault may exist in there so now we talking about the characteristics of wsn because there are certain character of all the sensor network and wsn is some specific uh, specific one the one is power efficiency means wsn should be power efficient node is from to failure so if the node is fail there are whole network may fail so we should have that uh, capacity flexibility should be there inside that uh, if uh, if there is fault in in our one node the data can be transferred to the nearest node there should not be any data losses next is mobility of nodes there is some node require mobility to increase communication efficiency or according to that the application can be divided so that the mobility on the nodes can be vary when heterogeneity of nodes so uh, nodes in basically wsn they are meant for diff uh, different scalability requirement they are uh, corporate single network multi network what type of network is using we don't know so we always want it should be heterogeneity of nodes and the last is scalability so obviously we require that the wsn should be scalable enough so uh, whenever we are talking about wsn our major concern is uh, because uh, we are using different network connection and we are using different network so their heterogeneity should be maintained because uh, some network are using x some using y and so on and all network should be connected and no communication problem is there so these are the basic characteristics of wsn so i moving to the next that is protocol stack of wireless sensor network all networks are fall in certain modules we know about tcp ip we know about osi in same way this is having the protocol stack five layers of osi model which is uh, application layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer and this is also cross layer plans that is a power management plan mobility management plan and task management plan so in protocol stack of wsn five layers of osi are working here um if you can see on the screen that uh, what is the stack you can see physical layer at the bottom then data link layer then network then transport and the application and these three planes are there so each and every plane is following these five layers in application layer giving the application transport layer had we uh, had we you do some do transmit network layer is basically transferring a packet data link layer is creating the linking between your data through the physical layer is actually meant for transferring the data 
so wsn using the five layers of osi model we are having these three plans three planes which are used so uh when i talk about wsn obviously it also following topology so uh, each and every nodes are following certain topology whether a star whether a link whether a bus string or so on so every network following certain topology i choose three topologies which is uh, first is point to point topology point to point means uh, one node is pointed to the other and other is pointed to the one then the uh, second is point to multi point means star topology a uh, star topology here is the center which is uh, which is main point and other is multi point when we communicate in this topology every information go through the center node other topology is uh, mass topology so different nodes are there because one node are fail in between then still the communication flow will be another node means no loss of communication in star topology the center will fail then the data transferring will fail the next is the application of wsn the first is the military applications battlefield surveillance monitoring guiding intelligence missiles attack detection second is environment monitoring forest fire detection fluid detection air pollution water quality third is medical applications like of uh, psychological data monitoring identifying allergies preventing wrong diagnosis monitoring patient uh, movement fourth is industrial applications like controlling at industrial plants dealing with data center issues fifth is home intelligence like um home intelligence oh oh iot is nothing that basically basically using sense sense now people are using cameras and all cctv cameras even sensor are used to find out whether the electricity on uh, on in your room or not so it is used in everything a uh, home intelligent smart home like remote management and uh, the last is agricultural applications uh, monitoring water tank level water pump controlling irrigation automation summary summary is that wireless sensor network is network of sensors sensor node and gateway wsn is type of wireless ad hoc network sensor node have limited power capacity and fault tolerance sensors node certain sensing processing power and communication unit protocol stack for wsn consist of five layers that is application transport network data link and physical layer cross layer planes provides necessary support basic networking topologies used by wsn are point to point star and mesh wsn have wide range of application in diverse field so i uh, i hope you like it and understand much please a uh, uh, link in the description below click on that link and uh, 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 and download the presentation from it and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching so the conclusion is that we all are using wsn